I was very lucky to have a very strong mother. She raised us as a single parent. To this day, there's not a, a week that goes by where I don't still seek her counsel. I was also very fortunate to have an older brother, four years older than I was, uh, who, who focused on being my tutor for math, which was always very, very helpful. But I would say, um, to this day, I still rely on my 15-year-old daughter, Brooke, every single day uh, to, to live life to the fullest. We were very fortunate in this administration to, uh, to have a lot of support uh, to appoint Latinos in, in senior positions. And so um, for us, and, and for me personally, it was um, really important for me to have both kind of local sponsorship. So I was very fortunate to have Congresswoman Barbara Boxer, uh, at that time uh, Speaker Pelosi, um, and, and both my senators, Senator Feinstein and Senator Boxer, who were supportive of me. Uh, taking this position, of course, all happen to be women. So, um, so I think it's very, very important to have champions along the way, both at the local level and, and, and here in, in D.C. And, and certainly NHLA was part of that process. So the New 10 project has been on my mind for almost seven years now. It's, uh, it's the reason why I took this job and why I remain uh, in this position which is um, to redesign our currency so that it is more reflective of who we are as a country and our values. So one of the uh, themes that resonates with me the most is the theme of democracy. It is currently the theme that we are using to redesign our currency. And for me, democracy represents being part of a more inclusive uh, environment. And so to have Latinas uh, represent us because we are the fastest growing demographic here in the U.S. It's important to have that voice at the table.